Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video, we're going to be exploring taxonomies in Hugo. Taxonomies are basically, well, that's a fancy term for tags and categories, which are the default taxonomies in Hugo. They basically allow you to organize your posts under um, certain terms. So I could have a category called how to, under which I would put how to make a website, how to build a PC, how to hack, that could all be under the how to category. And I could tag how to make a website with websites, computers, software, how to build a PC. I could tag that with um, hardware, building, and also computers. And my hello world post I could tag with greeting or something like that. So let's dive in and get working with some taxonomies. So I'm going to open up my config file. And this is where we can define our taxonomies. Now, the default taxonomies, um, quick type this up, taxonomies. This is where you define them. The default taxonomies are tags and categories. Categories. So if I want to use these, I don't have to define this at all. I can just delete that. Um, but for the sake of being very clear on how to work with these, I'm going to define them for you. So we'll say tag equals tags, and category equals cat, not gata, categories, like this. What these keys are, or their syntax or whatever, is this is the um, singular form of the word, and this is the plural form of the word. And same here, category, categories. Singular, plural. Just tells Hugo what to use. Now, like I said before, these are the default category or taxonomies, so if I wanted these, I could just delete this and we'd be fine. All right, so now we have these taxonomies uh, defined. So how do we add them to a post? Well, it's not too hard. We come over to our posts and say vim uh, content posts um, how to build a PC and we already have these keys here in the metadata categories and I'm just gonna add how to there now we have how to category and tags okay I'll tag this with uh, computers and uh, hardware and uh, build building building sounds good there we go Okay, we've tagged and categorized that post. Now let's tag and categorize the how to hack post and categorize that with uh, how to again. Now, tags and categories there, basically, they work the same. It's just up to you how you use them. Hugo will generate a link. It'll be the root of your website slash categories or slash tags, and then you can access the tags and categories in that form. So we'll add a tag for this, how to hack, we'll say um, hacking uh, software and uh, com computers, if I can type computers, like so. Beautiful. And then our last one, how to make a website, we'll categorize that again in how to and tag that with a website. Um, software, computers, programming, you can go on and on and on, but that's all I'm gonna do for now. And let's head over to our website and see what we have here. In this sidebar, this is a really nice theme, Icarus theme is what I'm using here. It, um, auto it automatically generates uh, on the sidebar whatever taxonomies you have. So we have categories, how-to category, click on that. We get a list of all the posts in the how-to category. And then under tags, we have, uh, what's that, seven tags, building, computers, hacking, hardware, programming, software. We only have two software posts, but we have uh, three computers posts and only one hacking post. Oh, that's sad. One last thing I want to mention is these two links up here, this tags link and this categories link. These are not automatically generated by Hugo or our Icarus theme. These are defined in our config file. So if I vim config and scroll down for a ways, they are right here. This is where these links are defined. They're not automatic. 
So if I had, for example, made uh, series one of my taxonomies, or maybe groups, I could change this link to groups. But um, since I have tags, we'll leave it there. And that's how those links are defined. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something from it. Um, don't forget to subscribe. My name is Jacob, and have a good one. And yes, I totally botched that ending, but whatever. <laughs>